There's three things you can count on during a PCS. Number one, it could be exciting. Number two, it's gonna be stressful. And number three, it will happen. Right now I'm recording inside my RV. We've been living here for the last, I would say three months or maybe four months now, and it's been great, but that's a topic for a different YouTube. Kinda wanna go over that transition from our house to living in an RV because of this one thing that always happens in the army, the permanent change of station. This happens no matter what whichever branch you are and some branches you might stay longer in one spot but i'm in the army it does happen and then unfortunately the higher in rank you get the more permanent change of station or we call it pcs it's going to happen more often which what we're going to talk about in this video so what is a pcs permanent change of station simply put you're going to relocate you're going to move you're going to take yourself and your family and you're going to move across country or sometimes overseas and you're going to be there for the next two years, three years, depending on your situation. As soon as you got that notification that you're going to leave somewhere or you're going to go somewhere, there's going to be a stress in your family specifically, because imagine the emotional stress of your wife and your kids to pack up and go to a new place, which they probably don't know anybody there. If you're lucky enough that you requested a location where you're close to their grandma or their aunt or whatever. But for the most part, it's a location where everything is new to you and to them. A lot of years ago, I was stationed in Fort Lewis, Washington. I got notification that we're gonna PCS to California. Hi. We can show mom this again. When is Mother's Day? Sunday. That was rough because my daughter at that time was i think she was 12 13 so she has a group of friends already she's starting school felt like a bad guy to be honest the next thing is your wife job career she's not going to be able to have a career and that's a sacrifice that spouses actually give to be married to you as a service member it's something that they think in the beginning hey it's okay i know what i married but eventually it's not going to be enough and in some cases she's going to uh, resent you so babe I'm not sure what's happening. Because you move around, they really can't plant their roots and start a career. In some cases, the, those are one of the reasons why service members actually get out of the military. The next stress is going to be financial stress. This, is, These are the things that you really got to look out for because we get BAH. It's called Basic Allowance for Housing. And the BAH differs from zip code to zip code in some cases you're going to increase your bah because the cost of living to that new duty station is higher and in some cases it's going to drop now in this example i'm in el paso right now it it was significant decrease in bah even though i feel like the cost of living is higher here because the grocery prices right now are insane even in the commissary i remember back in the day you have 200 250 bucks you'll you'll fill two cart loads of groceries now 100 bucks not even a quarter of your cart it's just the 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 times we live in but you got to take that into consideration the financial aspect and it's not just the bah it's everything else the move itself you're gonna have to find a new house and then down payment in a new house, down payment or security deposits, it's gonna cost a lot of financial strain. You just gotta be prepared for that. Not just you, but you and your spouse mainly. Besides the options of housing to your destination, you also gotta worry about the house that you currently reside in. Whether you have to sell the house that you're on or you have to terminate a lease to be able to move. By the way, I made a separate video, so I didn't know if you knew, but there are six housing options when you PCS. Watch that next after this video. I'll put it at the end. And if you want to jump into that because you already PCS and you're, you're wondering what other options out there for housing, click right here somewhere up here. Another option is, which I highly don't recommend, but it does happen because of the situation is being a geographical bachelor. What it means is you as a service member actually PCSs to the location where your orders is taking you and you leave your family behind. And there are some really legit reasons why this happens. Spouse have a career and they can't just back up and go and or the kids maybe they like the school and you and your spouse decided that it's best for them to stay and then you go to pcs some of you might ask is how often do you pcs it's about 24 to 36 months and here are the common exceptions 
why some people would PCS sooner than 24 months and longer than 36 months. The first one is a promotion. Let's say you are first sergeant and uh, you PCS somewhere, let's say Fort Lewis, and then you got selected to go to Sergeant's Major Academy you're gonna PCS. Another exemption might be a, set, a senior stabilization, which is a program through the Department of the Army. If you're one of your kids is a junior becoming a senior in high school, they can stabilize you until they graduate high school. Another exception of you staying in a location longer than three years would be if you re-enlist for an option or a duty station and you pick your current duty station, then yeah, you can stay there longer if you want to. But those are different things. Now, if you, ha you however, don't like where you at and you want to move, then you got to wait at least 24 months in station to be able to request to PCS somewhere else. Because of all the concerns that I just mentioned in this video, there are some pros in changing the station, moving around. The first one is adventure. You don't have to just drive from your original location straight through however many days it would take to go to your new duty station. What you can do is make a trip out of it. For us, coming from Chicago, going to El Paso, we didn't just take the direct route. We kind of went around circles because I wanted to see Roswell, New Mexico and Colorado. So we kind of went far and just back in. We decided to do that since we have an RV and that's what we did. We kind of do some exploration and it was really fun and memorable. Another pro of PCS is a new beginning. It's a new beginning for everyone. That could be exciting too. You're gonna have a new house, new location, new environment, and you'll get to have new friends okay, where you can network okay. eventually. Uh, most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing such a diverse crowd together, not only for the Academy, uh, but to strengthen friendships, both across uh, various nations, uh, but friendships that will last a lifetime. This is in your name we pray. Amen. 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 I mean, the longer you stay in the army, you'll come to realize that it's really a small organization. Another pro could be financial. You could actually gain from PCS financially, which I will cover in a separate video and I'll have it at the end. So after you watch this, watch that all the entitlements that you're going to get when you do PCS. Another advantage is since we're talking about promotion is career enhancement. These are new opportunities because you have to diversify your experience the longer you stay in the army. One example I could tell you is from one platoon and you get promoted and you're going to PCS somewhere else and you're going to take over another platoon or a company. You can kind of start fresh and take everything you learned from your last duty station and your experience and apply it and formulate your own leadership style. Along career development, it's also a personal development moving from one place to another, learning how to PCS, learning how to prepare for the move. It's part of your personal development. And because you've been seeing different places and you decide to stay in the army for longer. You're a sip of sweet tea, we're saving deep dish. You're pretty gay man, it's kind of hit or miss. From the bean to lake shelf. You kind of have an idea where you want to retire eventually or ETS somewhere and stay there and maybe plant your roots eventually. So here are some tips that might help you on permanent change of station. Number one is make it an experience. As I said, it could be a positive experience. It could be an exciting, uh, you know, the memories that you make with your family. Make it an experience. Make the most out of the travel. Like for me, I did the RV life and by far it was, it was great. I love it. I'm, I'm shooting this video right now in my RV. Another tip is look for all the different housing options. Just to give you an overview of all the housing options you have, just look at living on post, renting a house or an apartment off post. You can buy a house and you know, you can do what we did, which is live for a few years in RV and see if that life is for you as well. This is the biggest tip I can give you is start getting rid of stuff. You'll never realize how much shit you own until you're about to PCS. All the crap that you accumulate through the years in your garage and your house, 
start get rid of stuff make some money out of it sell it on ebay put it on facebook marketplace trust me on this it will make your move a lot smoother and if you decide to go geo bachelor's route it's a new fashion for 2024 grown man wearing satchels and a mountain bike one thing i can tell you is be busy find ways for you to use your time oh shit I'm not gonna move you. I'm gonna move the bike off. <laughs> Give it a minute. Breathe. You get that? Idle time is a devil's playground. That's where people get in trouble. You you become high risk. Pick up a new hobby like mountain biking, depending where you at. Don't do it, Josh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Maybe get a, you know, start an online class or a master's degree. Just be busy. And remember, if you have that FNG mentality, you'll learn a lot more. You can become a sponge rather than thinking that you know it all. So watch this video next. This is all the PCS entitlements because you and your spouse might want to watch this video when you come down on orders.